Hi, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mateo Lewis. I'm in first year at Sheridan College, Bachelor of Music Theatre. Um, I've been obsessed with musical theatre for a long, long time, and a couple of my friends recently have been telling me that I should consider making um, videos deconstructing and analyzing some of my favorite uh, songs from different musicals. So I'm going to start doing that with um, What Baking Can Do from Waitress by Sarah Bareilles. Um, because I feel like that song is really underrated in that musical. Uh, everyone talks about She Used To Be Mine and that's a great song, but what baking can do is just is just a step-by-step -step manual on how to write a good song for music theater as a pop artist because a lot of pop artists are notorious for breaking into musical theater and then writing songs that maybe don't forward the plot um, that are just great songs because they're used to writing for pop um, and not writing for characters in a theatrical piece but what Sarah Bareilles does is, uh, is, is bring the pop sound to musical theater with all of the respect for storyline of, uh, of a Broadway composer like Stephen Sondheim or Rodgers and Hammerstein. Um, and, and she really understands the character and she thinks up brilliant ways of showing that through her music. So, What Baking Can Do. Let me give you some, some, some backstory. So the song is called What Baking Can Do. It comes very early on in the show. Um, it's kind of the I want number, but it's not as like uh, cliche and formulaic as most I want numbers. Um, and uh, so what happens is Jenna, this, the show is about Jenna, who's a waitress um, at, at a shop in some small rural town in America. And uh, she's married to this asshole guy. Um, and she gets pregnant with his child and she doesn't want to be in the relationship. She wants to leave the relationship, but now she has this baby. Um, so this song comes right after she uh, finds out that she's pregnant and she runs into the kitchen and she just starts baking pies to get her feelings and her frustration out because uh, baking to her is just an art form. It's something she learned to do when she was a child and there's all of these um, moments in the show where she goes into this like trance dreamlike state and comes up with an idea for a new pie based on what she's feeling and what's happening to her. So for example, like when she's mad at her husband, she comes up with a pie where she has to like crush the nuts or and like slice up the banana or whatever. Um, so uh, what this song has to do is kind of show us how Jenna is stuck in her life and how she's kind of trapping herself um, by, by, by hiding from her problems instead of facing them. Um, and it also needs to kind of introduce baking as an art form um, and, and a way for her to kind of forget about her problems. Um, so, it starts off like this. And if you listen to the Broadway cast recording, which I'll put a link to uh, in the description, um, the, the bass comes in and does some really cool like whoop -de doo -de. So it's really, it's a really cheery introduction, um, kind of bouncy and mechanical, you might say, uh, which kind of illustrates the way that she's in, in doing her, her baking and in practicing her craft, she's, she's kind of hiding from all of the negativity and she's kind of cheering herself. Make it work, make it easy, make it clever, craft it into pieces, make it smooth. Crimp the edges, or make it sour and serve with lemon wedges. Even doubt can be delicious, and it washes off of all the dirty dishes when it's done. I can smile, it's on someone else's plate for a while. I'll place it on dis- oops, it's- place it on display is the note. So I want to stop there. It's, it goes, I'll place it on display. So that note's important. Um, as a music theater performer, kind of what you have to do when you're analyzing the music is every time you find a note that's outside of the key signature, that usually means something important about what the character means when they say that lyric because, um, you know, a, a mantra that I like to, uh, that I like to use is that the music can't lie. The character can lie, but the music can't lie. Um, so here we're in G flat major, right? And uh, there we have that C natural in the in the bass, um, which is the sharp fourth 
I think you can refer to it as phi, I think is the solfege name for it. Um, and what that means, that's from... I should have researched the name of this mode, I forget it. But it's the one with, with the sharp fourth, anyways, and it's used in classical music, oftentimes. That, that feeling of do, re, mi, sharp, fa, so, la, ti, do, uh, kind of makes it feel dreamlike and, and eerie and kind of uh, supernatural and surreal. Um, so the reason, I guess, that Sarah Bareilles uses that kind of, that note from that mode in that, um, in that lyric kind of gives you the feeling of like, I'll place it on display, you know? She's like idolizing her, her craft and her work and, and, um, and, and that kind of feels larger than life to her, which I can relate to as, as someone who, who plays piano and sings, you know, when I'm frustrated, like, uh, I get that feeling of like, like that kind of dreamy, floaty feeling represents how I feel when I'm performing a song, you know? So it kind of, that helps us understand her character. The fact that this is how she feels about putting her pie on display. And then I'll slice and serve my worries away. I can fix this. So there Sarah Bareilles does something that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, what she's doing is we're in G flat major and she goes, Ga um, uh, what's the words? Serve our worries away. I can so the melody is going. Serve our worries away. I so the melody goes up a semitone and it gives us all that feeling of 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 key change, you know. But it's not a key change up. And uh, oftentimes writers will modulate the key by a semitone or. Uh, by a full tone in order to show like raising the stakes or, or an elevated emotion um, is how those key changes are often used near the end of the song in musical theater. But Sarah Bareilles is doing this genius thing that I can't get over where she, um, we're in G flat major and she makes you think she's going up. Uh, Serve my worries away. I, because the melody goes up a semitone but that we actually change keys to F major. We move down a semitone in the key, which is brilliant, uh, a brilliant musical representation of how the way that, that, that Jenna is digging herself deeper into this hole. It's so smart. Um, she thinks that she's doing something productive and, and helping herself get out, but she's really just hiding from her problems and digging herself deeper into the same hole. It's brilliant. I can fix this I Twist it into sugar, butter, covered pieces, never mind what's underneath it. So there we have another chord that's out of the key signature. This one is borrowed from the minor. Um, so the fact that she uses the only minor chord in the whole chorus, or the only chord from the minor key signature in the whole chorus <clears throat> for never mind what's underneath it, because she's trying to hide from her problems in all of these big bouncy major chords and then what's underneath though what's underneath your sugary coating of of your situation never mind what's underneath it I, I have done it before I'll bake me a door to help me get through I learned that from you, Mama. It's amazing what baking can do. And now we're back in G major. Ooh. So there's this riff I can't do justice to, um, but Jesse Mueller does an amazing job. Listen to it. It's brilliant. And then make it up and surprise them. Tell them all my secrets, but disguise them Till they dance on the tongues Of the very people that their secrets will make it soon Uh, what's the chord? Soon make it better Though better never lasts forever I'll make it small 
So it fits. Now listen to this musical change. Even this. got the chance to ask her about. So there, there's two things happening. The first thing is this. The, 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 the chord always comes in, the chord change always comes in half a beat before you expect it to, you know? Instead of being on the one and the three, it's on the and of two. Uh, one and two and two and three and and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Um, and that's the same rhythmic uh, terrain that creates the excitement in Big hits like uh, Defying Gravity does it. Waving through a window does it. On the outside. Um, so all these big Broadway songs use that same rhythmic terrain of coming in a beat earlier or half a beat earlier than you expect. Um, so that's interesting. And the other thing is. Uh, the brilliant way that Sarah Bareilles tells us, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that in the script of the show, um, you never actually find out that the mom is dead, um, but she tells us that in that one simple lyric, something I never got the chance to ask her about. That's a brilliant, brilliant way of both showing how she feels about baking, why she feels that way about baking, um, who taught her how to bake, what baking means to her, you know, it's it, her connection with her mom, and also th telling us so much about how Jenna feels and about what makes Jenna tick, and giving us that exposition without telling us, you know, show don't tell is the big um, mantra for writers. It's a brilliant, brilliant, simple, genius way of, of giving us that information in one lyric. Something I never got the chance to ask her about. And then you have... But the melody goes up. How goddamn, goddamn happy I am. Sugar, butter, flour, don't let me down. Let's see the next. So there, um, when you hear Betsy Wolf sing this song, who's doing it on Broadway right now, I saw her in uh, in the show. When I saw it on Broadway, she was amazing. She does this thing. Um, she goes, How goddamn happy I am. And she riffs up to the M. She riffs up to the C, which is only a C, but it's so powerful because it's so hard for her to do vocally because of the amount of breath you need to go, God damn happy I am. Hold and hold and hold, and then go over her break. Yeah, I'm a sugar, butter, flour, don't let me down. Let's see the next amazing thing. What Baking Can Do from Waitress, um, which I think is a genius song. So definitely listen to the original Broadway cast recording of it, which I'll, I'll uh, include a link to it in the description below or something. Um, comment your thoughts and opinions because all art is a, is a personal experience. So what do you think about it? How does this make you feel? What does this make you think about Jenna's character? Uh, and also comment what you think I should do next, because I want to do a lot more of these videos. Um, it's a lot of fun for me, uh, just to dig in and, and just think about uh, what makes my favorite song so good. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, etc., etc. Um, bye, have a great day.